What's up, Gucci gang? Today, in this video, we'll be downing a... Oh, wrong video. <clears throat> Today, I'll be reading the, a book made by me and Liam Owens. Liam's channel will be linked in the description. And it's called Skibbity Toilet Wood Book, Volume 1. Yes, the second one's in progress. We made way too many of these. Well, uh, one was already way too many. <laughs> now, without further ado, let's get on to reading. New York Times bestseller, because that's what every book is. Prologue. The war took everything from us. Our families. Our friends. And if you can't forget how they also took our $19 Fortnite cards. The Skibbity Toilets attacked and they didn't stop. My name is Jeff. And this is a story about how we won the Skibbity Toilet War. Hey, Jurahime. Did you feed the Bonanza cats? And did you clean the cotton farm? We all start of the three. We cannot afford the last one to be gone. I said. Yes, you freaking gosh darn poopy head. Said Jirahime. Hey, no foul language. Now get back to work. You're going to be in, in the right pits for five hours. Said General Emo Girl Betsy. And as you can see, life is weird in what... In the remains of what used to be an amazing world. Yeah. yeah it's hard for me to read out loud. Okay, maybe not amazing. It had some flaws such as... Dream stands, lanky box, and well, you get the idea. Life wasn't perfect, but definitely better than now. Ever since SCOM fell, the people of the world split up into factions in order to survive the Skibbity Twins. However, where the story is now, SCOM is still standing. Oh yeah, SCOM was a military created by the UN to defend the remains of humanity. However, SCOM fell to the Skibbity Toilets. And humanity's last hope was destroyed. Oh yeah, another thing. The S and S com scans were skibbity. Not to shoot about the com though. Probably for the United Communication. Brr, skibbity, dop, dop, dop. Yes, yes, skibbity, double, dip, dip. Get down, they found us! General Emo Girl Betsy yelled. Open fire! Before I knew it, almost everyone was ghosted. And uh, that basically means killed. Because, uh, this was made in school. And <laughs> they, they don't really, like, kill. I speak from experience. Alright, guys, are you okay? Bart? Jurahime? I yelled. Emo girl, let's see you. Uh, wait, no, I'm, I'm wrong. Jurahime is being attacked and surrounded by skibbity toilets. But nearby was General Emo girl, Betsy, who was being attacked by a few toilets that needed help. I helped General Emo girl, Betsy, as there was no shaving Jurahime. You simp! Yelled Jurahime before he was turned into a toilet. My friends were gone, and there were a few survivors of the faction. So we set out to find a new faction. When we finally stepped out into the light, we saw an overgrown, uh, overgrown city. And I could see the old skyscrapers. Everything looked fine, but then I saw it. A five-headed mutant. It has five heads! I thought to myself. It's running after me. They run for my life. My comrades are far too slow. Only me and Rabboy survived. Everything went from good to horrible within a day. Before we continue, I need to explain how this all started. Life was good and everything was normal. I was about to graduate high school and I had a normal life and a girlfriend. I lived in a house with my mom, dad, and little brother. Everything was fun. Until bum bum bum. One day I heard a song that I didn't know would later become the sound of death. The Skibbity Toilet song. Turn that garbage off. I told you to stop watching Skibbity Toilet. And why is it so loud I can hear through the walls? I said. No response. Benny Bennett, Bennett, Benny, no burrito. Turn it off, I yelled. No response again. I went up there to see two toilets with heads singing that garbage song. And little did I know, one of them was my brother. I pulled out the family golf club and little tykes baseball bat, dual wielding them, and I attacked. To the toilet started drinking the Windex in the wine glass that I had accidentally left out. This caused them to mutate into British toilets. Are you disrespecting me, Bruna? What does that say, Liam? The toilet yelled. The second one said, Do you know who I am? I'm the original gangster. I quickly sprinted and put the baby gate, preventing the British toilets from pursuing me. Then I got to my 2001 Honda Civic and started the car. Very classy, I know. I drove to my girlfriend's house only to find out she was cheating on me with a party civvy 511 LeBron James cardboard cutout. So I left and went on the went to the IHOP on Goss Street where my friend Emo Girl Betsy worked to see if she was okay. She was fine. 
Her recommendations were all emo related topics. So the Scooby Toilet videos wouldn't be there. I quickly constructed a PRL, Pancake Rocket Launcher, and fired at a three year old who was swiping on the table like it was a phone. It's self explanatory why I did that. Next, we drove to my friend M. Ant M's concert. He was performing a song called With Him. We told him that what was happening. He for some reason believed us. And then the military unit arrived, aka SCOM. We sprinted and hopped on one of the helicopters. We were shot down by a minigun spamming Scooby toilet, which for some reason I like to think is named Peyton. We survived by jumping at the last second. And then we ran to a, into a skyscraper, which is then cut in half by this horrifying Scooby toilet, promptly named Survival the Jeff, the Scooby toilet, the killer. The creature proceeded to eat dream, probably for the best. It then started singing its corrupted version of the song. Brr, Skibbity, I burnt my face off with the candle, dot, 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 yes, yes. I don't know what that was all about, but to be honest, I didn't really care. We ran and found a 1700th cannon that was used to give America its independence. We loaded it up with a piece of uranium-235 that we happened to find in the cereal aisle of Lidl's two weeks before. The shot hit the Skibbity toilet, which prompted to explode into a hundred puzzle pieces, and and a normal just the killer. He was very dazed, but having nowhere else to go, he joined us. We then were left with only one place to go from the bunker. No, uh, to the bunker. Oh, oh my God, I've been reading terribly. Which leads us to where I'm leaving. Suddenly, a shadow jumps at me from behind the corner. It's just the killer. He says that emo girl Betsy's injured. We look to see that her ankles are broken when a skibbity toilet infected LeBron James. Dunked on her. We looked around for a golf cart and found one. Quick, we quickly drove off. I opened the glove box and found a gold scar and some papers. Apparently the car used to be owned by some dude named Charles this the, the fifth no six uh, uh, Roman rules the rest of his name was ripped oh wait no Charles oh my god this is terrible I quickly thanked my savior Charles for leaving this golf cart for us we drove off out of New York City we were headed for Pennsylvania one of the last bastions of humanity the drive was far about three hours since we took a, a back road to go unnoticed when we made it, we saw the impossible people with cameras for heads fighting against the skibbity toilets, and they were running. Thanks for watching. I'll read chapter two later. Just uh, oh, don't mind me. Don't some of the weird. Don't mind some of the weird parts. That was my friend Leo. All the amazing parts were by me, clearly. Now I'll read chapter two next, and also ignore all the sounds that are in the background of the video. My siblings are thumping upstairs, and uh, the washer's on. Uh. And make sure to like, subscribe, and share the Swifty Dog.